team, an A student, and she's blind. Tonight on PM Magazine, meet Paige McLean. She's one of the best on her Bethel Hanbury team, and we'll see how her family helps her to overcome her handicap. And from Mary Poppins to Victor Victoria, Julie Andrews' career has taken many turns. She talks to Marilyn Beck about her early days and how she's overcome some personal struggles. And it's skiing, skateboarding, and surfing all in one. Look at this trendy new sport, snowboarding. 
art has come to life at the Richland School District 2 Elementary Schools. These Condor Elementary School students are portraying Winslow Homer's Snap the Whip. Huh? You don't quite understand what I'm, what I'm talking about? Well, you will before tonight's show is over. It's really a unique idea, and I'll tell you about that, but we've got a lot on tonight's show, so we'll get right with it. Lou, by the way, is on vacation this week out in Utah skiing. Right now, though, we are going to meet a Richland School District 2 middle school student named Paige McLean. She's an A student, and she plays on the basketball team. As a matter of fact, she's a star basketball player. Big deal, you say? Yes, it is, because she's also legally blind. It's a typical girls' basketball game at Bethel Henbury Middle School. Ron McLean is the only one standing, and he's excited. Come on! Pick it up! Pick it up, Mindy! His wife Janice is watching anxiously. Be careful, Paige! And their daughter Paige is on the court driving for a layup. Ron and Janice can see it all. Paige cannot. Paige was born with cataracts in both eyes and is now legally blind. She lost her right eye when she was four and has only 14200 vision in her left. Bad enough, it makes you wonder how she plays at all. I don't let it bother me. I just, they don't, they don't know and I just keep it that way. And sometimes it can get a little bit confusing and a little bit hard, but I always try to keep my, maintain my posture and my poise and everything when I'm on the court. Paige's basketball career started at five years old when she convinced her parents to put up a goal. She was content in the backyard until last year when she announced she wanted to try out for the team. Did it come on gradually enough so that you grew into it? Or was there ever a time when uh, Paige said, uh, you know, I want to go out for the team, that you said to yourselves, Honey, I'm not really sure whether she can do We this. did, right in the kitchen one night when she told us that. We told her that we'd have to think about it. And, of course, Janice and I talked about it. And, you know, we were, we wanted her to because we didn't, we didn't want to try to hold her back on anything. Paige not only plays, she's a starter. And Dad says he's not worried as long as she does one thing. Anytime she get on the court, she would have to wear the glasses that if we caught her without the glasses, then she would automatically be off the team. You need to look at his life and try to figure out what caused... Paige is exceptional off the court as well. She has an A average and is in the Accelerated Students Program. And it all seems to stem from the way she was brought up. We don't really look at her having a sight problem. The way we feel is she just happened to, to be someone that doesn't see as well as others. And we've seen her just get on the floor and actually feel around with her fingers when she was little and actually hit stuff and knock it further. And we would be crying as much as she would mm -hmm. to pick stuff up. But we never did would do for her. We would tell her what the stuff was, but we'd actually make her do. I have to continuously be watching the ball and the people that have the ball and where it is. So I have to be always turning my head from side to side. I can definitely see the whole backboard and I try to zone in. 